Welcome to the second episode of my X-Play Albion Prelude Modded Edition playthrough. So last time we took out that pirate base and we're jumping off right from there. Uh, the pirate base took a while and I'm pretty happy with the first episode. This one's going to be a lot uh, much more edited. Um, I'll only go into how-to stuff when I hit something I haven't done before. So first thing I did, I collected all the uh, the gear and the equipment from the the pirate base and the pirate ship that we were able to take out headed over to the local military base and these military bases or these massive structures normally have a, uh, a grouping of fighters and uh, capital ships defending them and they're a great place to sell your missiles and whatever else you may have looted from your targets so stop here resupply um, actually got to buy a uh, an enforcement license so that's good so on the way out of the system, I noticed a group of pirates were heading back to where the military base was, where their pirate base was. So I went ahead, tore ass after them, engaged them. They weren't an issue with the ship's current setup. It's great against fighters. And I just ripped through these guys pretty quickly. Um, now I did say in the, in the comments I was going to go through some of the weapon setup. And just real quick, the energy weapons that you're seeing aren't normally in the game. They're part of um, C mod 4, um, combat mod 4. They're called phased array laser cannons. Now, the weapons are in the game, but what this mod does is, because you can't get them normally in the game, is it adds the effect, the red effect of the laser. Um, and it adds, if you download the bonus pack, and the mod is linked down below, um, it adds energy weapons to the games that you can buy from various weapon dealers. Um, and I got this one in Northern Talati space. I think this first episode mentions where I ended up going. But, um, oh, they're great. They they fire, all the laser weapons are instant, no travel time to their target. Hits them, good rate of fire. The damage isn't as high as some of the other ones, but as some of the other weapons. Um, but you don't have to wait for the travel time, like a railgun round or the pulse energy cannons. Even if they fire fast, you still gotta lead your targets. Um, and then on the, the left, the right, the top, and the bottom, I've got uh, flat cannons, and I've got a pulse a pulse weapon in the back that I thought fired pretty quickly to take out incoming missiles for uh, ship defense, if I'm trying to get away or just knock off some of those uh, anti-capital ship missiles. Alright, so from there on out, it was... I decided to do some more exploring to kind of roam the areas of space I already knew uh, to take on missions. And like here, I'm just doing a, a defense mission, trying to get my standing because I want, I want my faction to be extremely friendly to the uh, the Boron and the Argon um, and the Talati because these are the three, the three species, the three factions that I'll be. I think I'll be setting up base, setting up shop with. All right, this one should be a milk run. Looks like we've got a, uh, a passenger transport with a, almost a mill. Nice. That, that should be easy money. So run this real quick. And I ended up running the mission. Um, ended up being pretty easy. And I, you know, continuous just mission running, exploring, getting my faction standing up. Um, I ended up doing a lot of uh, patrols going from... Um, Argon space over to Boron space and back, taking out uh, pirate after pirate uh, until eventually I I came into a system in close to Argon Prime um, and I ran into for the very first time a new enemy. All right, looks like we've got some uh, some Xenon scout ships and I haven't seen these guys yet. So I'm not quite sure what to expect uh, with their what kind of firepower they're rocking. Or we're pretty we're pretty deep into um, into friendly territory. So I'm thinking these guys were spawned due to the patrol mission that I'm on, and not the actual faction conquering uh, AI that I put into the game. 
but we'll see. They do look pretty wicked. So a little history about the Xenon while I'm you know, en route to these guys. They are a mechanical race that originated on Earth. They were the terraformers sent out by uh, the human race to colonize and prep planets. Um, during one of the content patches, literally, they bugged out. Some programmer made them practically self-aware, um, and they tried to terraform human beings. Engage these guys. So, get the ship here on auto attack, because they look like they'll be pretty easy to mop up. Oh god, yeah, there goes one. So, they were, you know, they're programmed to endlessly evolve and to learn. So, they became pretty much the Borg of the universe. Um, they're pretty wicked. They've got their own areas of space. Nobody knows where their home world is. And they, they don't talk or trade with any other species. They just shoot and try to kill you as soon as they see you. Well, that's it for them. So I'm pretty sure they were part of just my patrol mission. So I'm going to continue on this patrol mission, get paid, and maybe do some exploring. Personal log. I've noticed something interesting, something odd actually going on on the Argon pirate front. We were about three sectors out from the uh, the pirate front line, one of the front line bases, and I started noticing in every system we jump into a buildup of military ships, Argon military ships. It started off with a couple of cruisers and a wing or two of fighters, all hanging around a gate on their way through toward the uh, uh, Linus Fortune front and the uh, and the privateer front line. Came across another gate and an odd formation of fighters jumping in and out, cruisers coming through the gate. When I got Argon into Home of Light, Colossus. multiple capital ships, more than I've seen ever in one system, moving through the sector, taking on pathetic small in threats while they were waiting for orders or something. I don't know what's going on, but this buildup must mean something serious is either on the way or these ships are moving someplace else. I have heard rumor that the Terran War is going poorly and they may need front troops in the front line there, but honestly, I figured they'd be moving toward the northern portion of the of the star system and not through pirate space. My curiosity is getting the better of me, and I'm going to head through those systems and see where these guys might be going, because I, I have to know what is happening on the border worlds. Shack out. Alright, last sector was relatively quiet, so let's see what's in here. I wonder what that was. Never heard of it. Holy shit! Alright, we've got Xenon out there. It's gotta be like a destroy- Ah, and I'm being hit directly out of the gate. Oh, that, that's, yeah, deal with that in a minute. Yeah, that's a cube out there. Definitely a cube out there. All right, I gotta deal with this guy outside the gate. And missile. Just going around here. Pull up and get the big guns to bear on him, take him out, and then we'll see what the hell is going on in the system. They shouldn't be here yet. Why did you just... Uh, whatever. Well, he died quick. Alright, let's see what is going on in this system. Oh, they're just destroying everything. That solar power plant's about dead. Xenon in every direction, and then a... A tactical cube. I don't know if you guys can see the scale of this thing. But it's wiping out the entire sector. And oh, shit. And let's get back to the gate now. That's a destroyer on my ass. I do want to take a look at what's going on back there. Just get an idea of their... Yeah, hey, hello, cube. Get an idea of what they've got in the sector. I think I'll sit next to the gate. Get real close. Yeah, maybe not. Huh. And that's cube, all right. We are the Borg. Lower your shields and surrender your ships. We will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. Your culture will adapt to service us. 
resistance is futile. All right, he doesn't seem to be coming this way in too big of a hurry. A couple of Borg. At least a Borg cube. A couple of Xenon cruisers. Ah, oh, that thing is huge. A destroyer up above me. We're gonna need more firepower. A lot more firepower. Xenon. Yeah, time to go. So, that would explain why I saw all those Argon ships while I was coming in here. I mean, it was just gate after gate of nothing but military ships, and, and I hadn't seen that before. And I couldn't, I couldn't have been the pirates. There wasn't enough firepower in those pirates that I fought to really matter. Uh, Alright, well, this system at least looks pretty clear. Um, I'll head north, get out of the pirate sectors, I guess the Xenon sectors now, and uh, head back to the military ships. That should be... Damn, they are pushed this far back. This is like five jumps, maybe four jumps away from uh, Argon Prime. Yeah, one, two, three. All right, a little farther than that, but not very far. Four jumps from Argon space. Atreus's cloud is where we took out that pirate base. Hmm. Xenon what the? M Xenon station. Okay, so they just built a station directly this in front of us. So they just claimed this space. It's the only way they can build stations here. Oh, well, this was empty, unclaimed space, so I guess it wasn't that hard for him, but man. Oh. Yeah, it's a Xenon space station. I've never seen one of these before. Kind of weird looking. Big old bubble tubes. Hmm. So what do they got defending this thing? Xenon L's. All right, so the fighters. Until recently, the L was the most powerful Xenon fighter developed. Kind of spazzing out. Better keep pushing away from the gate. Move in. Just a big old collection of them. I wonder. I wonder what kind of chance I've got against Xenon a couple of fighters. M. Maybe I can slow this push or, at the very least, test the ship's capabilities on these guys. This may be a really stupid idea, and you guys may see my first death, but uh. I'm gonna jump over here, run over here, and engage these fighters. About six of them, seven of them. Fly in, engage them, see how well the shields hold up. I should have enough energy to jump out if I have to. Hopefully the uh, the sector behind us takes a little while to uh, to empty out, and then we won't get these guys won't get any reinforcements for a bit. And I just gotta move into range. See, the one issue with these phase cannons is their two and a half kilometer range. Uh, the turrets have a better range than these. That would be the alarm that somebody's in weapon range. I think it means that one of my guns are in weapon range, but uh, we'll know as soon as those turrets can hit. Oh, there she goes. Oh, well, his shields are damn near gone. I think there are quite a few, ah, there are quite a few of these guys in here. Ah, and this is one slow boat. Launching shuttlecraft. Attack all, get out there. Oh, damn it. As soon as I launch the shuttles, too, here comes a cube. Looks like they wiped up all the survivors of that other sector. Shields are down to like 80%. Come here, you little bastard. And there's a destroyer. So this isn't looking too good. Managed to take out a couple of them. At least I'm assuming the turrets were able to. There. Flew over me. Oop. They rammed me. Shields down to 75%. Bank around. Gonna have to get out of here before that destroyer gets in range. I want to do as much damage as I can. This guy I've already wounded. Eh, come on. There he goes. Yeah, they're just gonna drop my shields, but these guys are nothing compared to that destroyer if it gets into range. I don't even want to think about what the cube will do to the shields. Time to get the hell out of here.
sooner would be better than later. <laughs> Any time now. Uh, the big ships at least aren't in range yet. And, well, he might be. He just jumped in. <sighs> but he hasn't started firing yet, so... Wow, that's a lot of ships. I got a half-second look of the invasion fleet. I'm only jumping about a sector away, but, um... Which is currently under attack by a cube. It's an all-out offensive. By the Xeon. Ah, oh, no. You're effing kidding me. <sighs> yeah. At least one cube in here. And I can't even see. I can't even see on sensors. I can see it visually. There's a destroyer in range. And distance. I'm staying the hell away from that. A, dro a destroyer is something you see just stationed with. There's these massive, massive ships that just obliterate anything large in their way. So I managed to make it out of the uh, the Borg invasion, which is now what I'm going to call them, because they are obviously just taking over everything. I checked IR, um, which is the mod that I have, that'll actually let you keep track of what the, uh, the races have been able to accomplish, and the, uh, the Borg have taken over 15 sectors since I've started the game, and this is the first time I've even bothered to look to see what the races were up to, because I wanted to see naturally. They are conquering sectors left and right, and they started with the pirate sectors like you saw. Uh, they are now one jump away from Argon space, and it is time for me to stop messing around exploring. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to put in some time building a economy, an economic force to build the fleet to be able to push these guys back. Because even though we saw so many military ships the Argon were able to muster, nothing compared to that Borg fleet that has stomped every pirate sector it's come across. Now, I haven't seen them go up against a real a real threat like the Argon or any of the major empires um, before. This is a first, so we shall see what happens. We're going to have to invest in some new technology, get some new research in there, and come back with something a bit better. Well, this is a good stopping point, and I will see you guys next time.